Welcome to Science Easy Tech channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about two marks answer key for the subject nursing foundations. This is my part B video. The question paper has been taken from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences. Now the university name has been changed to Dr. YSR University of Health Sciences in the year November 2017. This question paper is for BSc nursing first year students. This question paper answer key will also be useful for post basic BSc nursing students. So 10 2 marks questions we are discussing in each question paper answer key. Before moving on to the topic if you are new to science easy tech channel just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the content what we are going to discuss in this video nursing foundation subject in the November 2017 question paper from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences. List the indications of cyst bath. Cyst bath indications are hemorrhoids, anal fissures, rectal surgery, episiotomy, uterine cramps, inflammatory bowel disease, and infections. Define ostomy care. Ostomy is defined as a surgical procedure that involves the removal of diseased portions of the either gastrointestinal system or urinary system and creation of an artificial opening in the abdomen to allow for the elimination of body waste. This is the definition of ostomy but they have asked what is ostomy care. Ostomy care is defined as the care given for skin protection and care for patient acceptance and to prevent stoma related complications. Name four restraints used in the ward. There are so many restraints used in the ward which can be classified into physical restraints, chemical restraints and environmental restraints. So in physical restraints you have so many types which you can write. They have asked only four but I am giving all the possible answers so that whichever you are remembering you can write it. Mummy restraint, elbow restraint, extremity restraint, abdominal restraint, jacket restraint, mitten or finger restraint. Chemical restraints. Chemical restraints or any form of psychoactive medications used not to treat illness but to intentionally inhibit a particular behavior or movement like sedation and all we are giving no so that is uh, chemical restraint chemical restraint or any form of psychoactive medication used not to treat the illness but to intentionally inhibit a particular behavior or environment any psychoactive medication so environmental restraints control a client's mobility example a secured unit you are keeping in a patient in a private room seclusion um, where some uh, suicidal ideations patients and all will be there you know so they will be kept in a separate uh, cell like that and all okay so for this question what you can answer means any four restraints used in the ward so you can answer mummy restraint elbow restraint extremity restraint abdominal restraint jacket restraint mitten or finger restraint out of this you can answer any four Define suppositories. Suppositories are solid dosage forms intended for insertion into the body cavities or orifices like rectum, vagina and urethra. Suppositories are solid dosage forms intended for insertion into body cavities or orifices rectum, vagina and urethra where they melt or dissolve and exert localized or systemic effect. Just I am reading what answer for what I am not explaining. So this is not an explanation video. I am making it clear. Just it is an answer key for what question, what answer you have to write. So suppose it is a solid medical preparation in a roughly conical or cylindrical shape designed to be inserted into either rectum or vagina to dissolve. Name the sites of checking pulse. So you may have so many sites, no? Radial, temporal, carotid, apical, brachial, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibial, dorsal spades. So radial, temporal, carotid, brachial, 
femoral, apical, popliteal, posterior tibial, dorsalis pedis. So these are the various sites of checking pulse. Define health illness continuum model. So the health illness continuum is a graphic representation of the wellness of an individual. This concept was first proposed by John W. Travis in the year 1972. It is an illustration that draws a connection between the treatment paradigm and the wellness paradigm. So the health illness continuum is a graphic representation of the wellness of an individual. This concept was first proposed by John W. Travis in the year 1972. It is an illustration that draws a connection between the treatment paradigm and the wellness paradigm. According to Newman, in the year 1990, health on a continuum is the degree of client wellness that exists at any point in time ranging from optimal wellness condition with available energy at its maximum to death which represents total energy depletion. So according to Newman what she told, um, head on a continuum is the degree of a client's wellness that exists at any point in time ranging from optimal wellness condition with available energy at its maximum to death which represents total energy depletion. So the health illness continuum is also known as wellness illness continuum is a dichotomous dichotomous two side depiction of the relationship between the concept of health and illness. See illness wellness continuum in one side you are having premature death in the right side you are having high level wellness. So wellness paradigm so at the center you are having neutral point so you cannot tell whether the person is in illness or wellness at the center point. Suppose if the patient is uh, um, fully aware of uh, her uh, health uh, and if he is taking a proper uh, nutrition, exercise, uh, health education, everything proper, adequate growth and development, he is going to your optimal uh, level of wellness that is high level of wellness. Suppose if the patient is having any signs and symptoms uh, and uh, uh, if he is having any disability so there may be chances for premature death etc so here it is what if the person is going for illness and if, suppose if the patient is taking treatment he can come back to wellness otherwise uh, it is going to lead to premature death enumerate the types of immunity is your seventh question so immunity so under immunity you have two types uh, mainly innate or native immunity that is inborn innate immunity means inborn within the individual you will be having it is otherwise called as native immunity next is acquired or adaptive immunity so acquired or adaptive immunity so under in inborn immunity you have non-specific response that is due to generic responses you will be having some immunity next is immediate that is inherited inborn inherited or innate immunity so you by generic conditions you will be having this immunity so it can be immediate that is maximum response after an entry of uh, any pathogen or antigen immediate immunity and sometimes the immunity can be built up due to memory cells it can be again divided into individual immunity species or racial immunity population immunity like that species racial and uh, individual immunity whereas acquired immunity so in acquired immunity again it is divided into natural immunity and artificial immunity again this natural immunity is divided into active immunity that is when an individual comes in contact with the disease they will have active natural immunity passive uh, natural immunity it is from the placental uh, transfusion transmission of antibodies uh, from mother as well as uh, from from mother's milk then artificial immunity so in artificial immunity you have a uh, um, vaccine due to vaccination you will be having either you can use uh, live vaccine live alternated vaccine killed vaccine toxoid uh, vaccine um, recombinant dna vaccine and in passive no in artificial passive immunity you have a uh, immune serum that is hepatitis b vaccine and all it is what uh, immune serum directly you are giving so uh, again uh, this uh, 
acquired immunity or adaptive immunity is again divided into natural and artificial under natural you have active natural immunity and passive natural immunity under artificial also you have active artificial immunity and passive artificial immunity so that completes your seventh question types of immunity next moving on to define inventory and inventory is a detailed list of all articles on the word uh, their specification and standard number or quantity and inventory is a detailed list of all articles on the word their specification and standard number or quantity so inventory means all the materials parts suppliers expenses and in the process or finished products recorded on the books by an organization and kept it in its stocks warehouses that is uh, uh, go down and uh, or plant for some period of time all the materials parts suppliers expenses and in the process or finished products recorded on the books by an organization and kept in stocks warehouse or plant from for some period of time so inventory is a detailed list of articles on the ward that specification and standard number and quantity so this is the most apt depth definition in nursing point of view the first definition so inventory control means uh, stocking adequate number and kinds of stores so that the materials are available whenever required and wherever required suppose if you are maintaining inventory you know which item is there which item is not there so that you can put an indent and you can get the things needed so that is called as inventory control it is a scientific system which indicates as to what to order when to order and how much to order and how much to stock so that purchasing costs and storing costs are kept as low as possible list the factors affecting blood pressure so no need to write all explanations they have asked only to list suppose if they are asking in five marks you have to write under each uh, factor what uh, you have to give the description but here only list the factors affecting blood pressure so we can write age exercise stress race age exercise stress race medications obesity positions diurnal variation age exercise stress race sex medications obesity positions and diurnal variations so these are some of the factors which affect your blood pressure medical conditions and temperature also add on to it so what are all the conditions which affect the factors which affect blood pressure age exercise stress race sex medications obesity positions diurnal variations medical conditions temperature etc define bladder irrigation bladder irrigation is a procedure to wash out the inside of the bladder so first you have to uh, know what it is bladder irrigation means it is a procedure of washing out of the bladder flushing the augmented or neo bladder is sometimes needed to remove the excess mucus that is created by the intestine that is now in the bladder the this help the urine to drain freely through the catheter and keep the catheter from being plugged with the mucus it helps to prevent infection and stones bladder irrigation is a procedure to wash out the inside of the bladder flushing the augmented or neo bladder is sometimes needed to remove the excess mucus that is created by the intestine that is now in the bladder this helps the urine to drain freely through the catheter and keep the catheter from being plugged with mucus helps to prevent infection and stones thanks for watching if you like my video please give me a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested end card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel